Once again, this is thyroid cartilage. This is cricoid cartilage. These are retinoids, and these are vocal folds. Before moving to movements of vocal cord, let us see what is rima glottidis. Rima glottidis is cavity between vocal folds and retinoid. So these are vocal folds, these are retinoid, and the cavity between them. This is rima glottidis. It has anterior membranous part that is between vocal folds. This one is anterior membranous part, and posterior cartilaginous part between two retinoid cartilage. So this is rima glottidis. During movement of vocal cord, the shape of rima glottidis changes and which aid several processes. So now let us see movement of vocal cord. During quiet breathing, the the shape of rima glottidis. is pentagonal in shape so five sided polygon first side second one third fourth and fifth this makes the anterior membranous part which is triangular and posterior quadrangular cartilaginous part now during deep inspiration the shape of rima glottidis is somewhat like this this is diamond shaped it is aided by posterior crico Arytenoid muscle. Here you can see posterior pico arytenoid muscle. This is also known as safety muscle. It provides the maximum airway for deep inspiration. Now, during phonation or normal speech, the shape of rima glottidis is somewhat like this. This is called chin shape. This shape of rima glottidis aids phonation. This is in somewhat this way. During expiration. the air rushes through this narrow space of rima glottidis so as the air rushes there is vibration of vocal fold and this leads to production of sound similar to the vibrating string, strings of guitar so vowels are produced by vocal cord further there is regulation of frequency and pitch by the movement of vocal cord so let us see that during movement of the thyroid cartilage forward and downward this is done by crico thyroid muscle as shown in first so this crico thyroid muscle pushes or moves the thyroid cartilage forward and downward this leads to lengthening of vocal cord you can see the vocal cord are lengthen so the frequency of the vibrating vocal cord is decreased and hence low pitch sound is produced now there is one muscle named vocalis which run parallel to the vocal fold on both the side so when this muscle contracts the retinoids move forward like this so the length of vocal cord decreases and this leads to increase in frequency and high pitched sound the the other alphabets then except the vowels are produced by various articulates such as palate tongue lips etc during whispering the shape of rima glottidis is somewhat like this that is funnel shaped so this is done with the movement of vocal cord now we will see the commonest clinical condition associated with vocal cord that is singers nodule or teachers nodule as the name suggests this is more common in singers and the professors where the usage of vocal cord is more so during the phonation or excessive speech there is vibration of the vocal cord which leads to continuous friction between the vocal cord and leads to damage of the mucosal mucosal surface this leads to inflammation and then the nodule so this is done with the movement of vocal cord i briefly summarize the movement and the shape of rima glottidis during quiet breathing the shape is pentagonal during deep inspiration the shape is diamond shape during phonation the shape is like a chink and during this whispering the shape is funnel shape thank you